I come from a television background. My grandpa was a pioneer in television. My dad was a director on newscasts, and my mom was a anchor reporter. So I think storytelling has always been something that has been in my blood. Filmmaking really was an interest from a younger age, and that was kind of a dream. I would say my first big project was probably a documentary I did on my grandpa. I got a grant from SEC and White Bear. At that point, my grandpa, his health was declining, and I, I wanted to do something on him before it was too late. And we got this grant, drove out there, and just interviewed him because he was a pioneer in television, World War II veteran. His parents lived in the Great Depression. He was a first generation immigrant from Italy. So for me, that was my first big project, I would say. Buongiorno. In Evansville, Indiana, he had, you know, obviously the, one of the first television children's show, live gallery in front of kids. The main thing I was interested in was kids' shows. I did a show called Fire Chief Andy, Mr. Skeeter, I Was a Clown, all these different characters. And the shows I did got good ratings. Nebraska television would not be the same if Ulysses Carlini hadn't been at KNOP TV. He was a leader by example. So if he, you know, if there was things to be done and there wasn't anybody to do them, he would pretty much do them himself. Not only a great person, but a kind person, a person that would would do anything for you if you asked him. Uh, him as my mentor, as, 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 a, as a great teacher in this business, and not only that, just the business of life and, and getting along with people. Coming to work, you want to be the leader. You want to have everybody enjoy what they're doing in the building as a team. Life's not the same without you, you know. Oh, my. I don't get my daily Italian lessons. Yeah. <laughs> First and foremost of probably what I took from him, being patient, being compassionate, understanding everybody's situation, passionate about seeing the kids do extremely well. He's nice, he's loving, he teaches a lot of Italian words, he's funny, he's nice to all of my family. People say, well, you'll fill your dad's footsteps. Well, there's, there's no way uh, to fill my dad's footsteps. He's, he's one of a kind. His famous quote, if you will, is, everything is wonderful. And in, in his life, and it, that sums it up, that you know, life is a wonder, and, and you never know what's going to happen that day. And if you approach it with a smile, if you approach it with an open heart, and if you approach it to embrace it, uh, really, uh, you know, life is, is wonderful. Everything is wonderful. After that, it was just kind of one big documentary after another big documentary, and then eventually it was my senior after that. So I came up with my senior in high school. Originally, I wanted to make a film just like a comedy. And that, that was what was the premise, is I want to make a film that's a comedy, something that's fun, you know, kind of in the vein of uh, like an American Pie type vibe. And when I was 15, the first girl I really liked that liked me back, we kind of dated. And the following year after we met, I, I gave her a call. She lived kind of far away, and that was like before I had my license. And I just said, you know, I'd love to see you. And her dad called my parents saying that she um, committed suicide. And that was really heavy because I, I, I didn't know how to take it. I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't talk to anyone about it. I just kind of buried it inside. And 
that really affected me in a lot of ways, I think. So to me, it went from me wanting to make just a comedy to making a story that matters, a story that, you know, could help people and give hope. So then that kind of shaped more of the serious tones of the film. And so I, I really came up with the story probably right when I was in the high school and wrote a couple drafts. They weren't good. And, and then, you know, I, I tried making it when I, when I was in film school. And at that point, I was still learning how to make a film, how to make a project. And it, it wasn't until after film school that I was really ready to make it. Really, really talented cinematographer, Kevin Horn, who I went to film school with MCTC, was available to shoot it. And then all these people I met kind of throughout the, throughout the way of becoming a filmmaker uh, wanted to be a part of it. So that was kind of the, the origins of, of making it. Yeah, that's me. I was kind of a dork. When I was nine years old, In life was world. wonderful. I had a mom, a dad, and I had friends. And everything changed. I think it's time for me to actually experience a real teenager's life. Dad's gonna be gone for the whole weekend. This is your chance to get known. Can't wait for your party, dude. It's gonna rock. You said you came to our school to experience the real teenage life. Yeah, shots. <laughs> take shots in shot glasses. Supposed to burn like that? Ah, uh, yeah, it burns. Sarah Anderson. Her and Brad have been together for years. I saw that girl again today. Brian, right? No, man, I mean, she's perfect. I fly through the stars to get to you. Papa Bear to drain the main vein. Ah! <laughs> the really cool thing about my senior year, it brought so many people together. I think anytime you do a film, that, that happens. But with our film, it was special in a lot of elements because a lot of my best friends today are people I met through the movie. People that met through the film got married. To me, that's a cool thing to think, like this marriage happened because our film, these People that became roommates happened because our film. These people that dated happened because our film. And a lot of these friendships are some of my best friends, still today, years later. And all of these relationships blossomed through making this film. If you have a dream, don't let anyone tell you you can't do it because at the end of the day, no one knows what you're capable of. Anything is possible. And you know, I, I, I'm not even close to where I wanna be and I, I, I try to lead by example. I, I hope to inspire people. You live one life, so why not live your dream, you know? And why not be the person you wanna be? Even with our film, it's a little film. Jay Leno looked at our film. Even if it doesn't make me money, I had a million dollar experience. Even if I make a billion dollar movie, this film still will have probably the biggest part of my heart because it took so many years. It was the film that I gave everything. I gave everything, every part of myself to. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies.
Mark and Margaret Yakel juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota, on the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota, on the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 96.7cram.com. <laughs>